This video talks about a specific thing about aortic regurgitation. So we know that when there is aortic regurg, there is increased um, backflow of fluid onto the left ventricle, or we can also say that the afterload is going to increase, right? And the only way to to kind of compensate or the only way to maintain cardiac output in aortic regurg is by increasing preload. Usually, aortic regurg is treated with um, with inotropes. For, so, inotropes, for example, let's say dobutamine is an inotrope, it's, which is going to increase contractility of the heart, and it's also treated with uh, vasodilators, for example. So among vasodilators is going to be nitroprusside. Okay, vasodilation is going to decrease uh, afterload uh, in aortic regurg. So, but this is not what I wanted to talk about in uh, in aortic regurg in this particular video. What I wanted to talk about is eccentric hypertrophy and concentric hypertrophy. There seems to be a lot of confusion between the two. So. For once and for all, I just want to take care of this. So imagine that this is the heart, the left ventricle of the heart, and this is the center of the left ventricle. Whenever we see concentric hyper hypertrophy, we mean that this, the center remains the same, right? The, the center of the circle, let's, say it's, let's imagine that it's completely circular. The center remains the same and there is more circles around it. In mathematics, that's what concentric means, right? There's going to be more circles provided that the, that the center remains the same. As a result, you see that there is hypertrophy when there is concentric, um, concentric kind of uh, increase of the heart muscles. But what about eccentric mean? Okay, let's talk about eccentric. So again, let's draw a circle here. And let's say this is the middle of the circle, right? Uh, this is the center of the circle. Eccentric means that the center of grav the center of the circle kind of changes. So let's say we are going to have let's say something like this, or let's say something like that. So see, in this particular case, the center of grav the center of I keep I keep on thinking center of gravity, but the center moves around here. Now this is the center for this circle, right? That's This is a, um, eccentric. But for this circle, the center moved from here to here. So now these are the radius, right? So you can see how that in um, eccentric hypertrophy, there is dilation. And in concentric hypertrophy, there is really hypertrophy of the muscles, right? There's hypertrophy. That's what it ends up happening, hypertrophy of the muscles. So we see this kind of eccentric hyper, hypertrophy in aortic regurg, and we see hypertrophy, concentric hypertrophy in hypertension or aortic stenosis. Now, the reason we see uh, this kind of eccentric hypertrophy in aortic regurg is because this is a volume overload problem okay because of volume overload this is this is uh, leading to con eccentric hypertrophy where here the problem is pressure the pressure is causing concentric hypertrophy